So for today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. I wanna do a, a, a tag a tag video. So I'm gonna do what's in your car tags. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what's inside my car. I think it's pretty much interesting. And I'm gonna call out Evan Shanks and Dr. M3 to do the same video and tag an, another two YouTubers themselves. And uh, we'll spread the video around. So we'll go to my car and um, sit nice and pretty in the shade. Now I'm I'm a, I'm a pretty, I'm a minimalist when it comes to my car. I like keeping only what I need. So we'll start on the inside here. I mean, this I always have a water bottle in that pocket at all times. I will always have a water bottle in it. I like to stay hydrated, and it's it's just, it's a good it's a good little emergency water. So now what I keep basically on the inside of the car is I usually like always have a hat somewhere in the car at all times so I mean as of now it's just sitting in the front seat but I want to start here with the middle now beer Z doesn't have much room at all for anything so I have a little empty space here because there's no armrest in this car it's just like a cubby so I always have my phone uh, plugged in and it always just sits just right here at all times and then I keep a sunglasses case which I'm literally always wearing and um, that is in this little cup holder little bucket that sits on the inside here but in the back cup I use my sunglasses case obviously and then in the front it's just a bunch of meaningless change that I acquire from whatever I do these cup holders are completely useless and I say that because even at the most farthest point they sit in this little hole when you're shifting if you have a cup here you're always banging it so that's why both of these are used for miscellaneous items it's pretty much useless on the little cubby here I have in the front I literally just use headphones here for the gym and it's the only thing that fits in this is these tiny little headphones and I have to wrap them up to fit them in there just to show how small it is. And like I said, I keep this cord wrapped around the shifter at all times. In the glove box, this is probably the most interesting bunch of stuff I have in here. I have tape because you never know when you need tape. So, I mean, that's just sitting in there. Got this little foam mount. It was like a $2 mount off of Amazon. Does it work? Kind of. It's kind of gotten worse than it used to be. Um, it used to hold my phone and it, it, it doesn't really hold it anymore, so it, it's kind of it's kind of shit. I keep a little felt squeegee in here. I don't know why this is in here, but I feel like at one point in time this will come to use. I keep an inhaler in here because asthma, my little thing for my nuts in case I ever need to take the, the, the wheels off for any reason, that's just a good place to keep it. And then it's this miscellaneous registration and, and proof of insurance and crap like that. So now we're gonna move to the inside of the trunk. This is where I think the most interesting pocket of the car is. I mean, it, it's all right, let's take a look. So on the inside here, I pretty much always keep my camera good here. A lot of time it's not sitting like in my house. I kind of keep it in my car, which is a terrible habit. I recommend this to nobody, but that's just kind of what happens for me. So I have a camera bag here and a lens, probably should throw that in there. So, I mean, this camera bag followed by that, camera equipment so I got my slider here of course always got to have the tripod at all times that's always sitting in there and then I keep a jacket this is like a rain jacket so if it's like it's a windbreaker slash rain jacket so when I'm filming I can throw this on at any time and it's always good to keep a spare jacket in the car so lastly this is like the biggest lifesaver I have it's a roadside emergency bag now what's in here I, I, I thought this is like the most interesting thing in the car so what you have in here so basically you're essential so you have jumper cables got a flat tire pump it up blanket in case you're like a stranded or something I don't know this is like a roadside like thing to put on the car to make sure people can see you at night and then you have like the bag of utilities so you got duct tape you got a zip ties you got a poncho you got an air pressure tire checker thingy you have your screwdriver box cutter pretty much all of that kind of stuff and I usually have like I usually keep um, like a like a doomsday package in here that has like rations and bottles of water in there. For whatever reason, that's not in there. So if I get pulled over or if I go off a cliff or something happens and, and I'm stranded, I'm probably gonna die out because that's not in there. But guys, that's what I keep in my car. Now again, I come calling out Evan Shanks and Dr. M3 to pick a car and show us what we have inside of it. And until next time guys, peace out. Totally had no idea that this tape and this squeegee was in here. When's now, the last time you looked in your fucking glove? That would have these two things would have came in really handy in the past like two weeks. Yeah, man, they would have. Probably should have looked in there. I've been looking for this for like weeks. <laughs>
You got it? Yeah, yeah. Watch the hey. sensors. Oh, I should be on like. That's the overpipe. Yeah, it's gonna fall on my dick. Let it fall. Alright, right, make sure there's, there's no O2 sensors. They have X-Bowl, one should like, be good. I know, I was like, I was like, wait. Oh, 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 oh